I've actually worn a swimsuit in this film as well. If I have the body, I'll flaunt it. Why not? Kissing scene is something very natural now. It's nothing. Like every film has it. Everywhere there's kissing. I'm going waiting to see what gossip people talk about me and you know what they have to say about me. It'll be fun. I'm hot. You're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. You know, always I wanted to get into films, some medium, some place in cinema itself. But uh, I don't know, after school is when I started thinking I want to be a director at one point when I was younger because I'd uh, seen what dad used to do with his TV show. So I was like, yeah, I think I want to do that, you know, and you don't know better. But uh, when I grew up and I saw started watching films, I was like, okay, let's try acting. And my mom really pushed me for that. So it was not like a particular moment or a film that changed my mind. It was more like a thought process that, you know, okay, fine, this is where I want to head and this is how I want to go about it. And uh, my mother was really a big part in me becoming an actor. Honestly, she told me, she was like, you know what, I think you should try for acting. And I was like, really? Do you think that that's possible? Like, I didn't even think of it as a possibility at that point, you know. I used to look very different. I had, I was much heavier, like I had a weight, like I was really fat at that point. So for me to be an actress was very weird. She said, okay, well, let's do one thing. Try losing the weight. See how you feel. It's not, a, there's no harm in doing that. You're young right now and, you know, give it a shot. So we did that, I started losing weight, I started going to dietitians and working out and whatever I had to do. And I started feeling really good and then I started getting modeling offers and modeling gigs, a lot of them because I'm like, of my height and everything. And that's when I realized that yeah, this is, this is all I want to do, like this is the direction I'm heading in. Yeah, he was always happy. I guess when you've just been born and brought up in an environment where you only see actors or directors or producers, there's no taboo surrounding any of these uh, occupations as such. That is quite silly, I believe. My dad has never been like that. He's never been the kind of father who will be like, you know, don't wear these clothes or don't be friends with this, these kind of people. He won't even insist on us believing in a certain God or something. He's like, it's your life. You believe in whoever you want. You wear what you want. You eat what you want. And you know, he just always made us make my our own decisions. So I guess that's why it's, uh, we've turned out the way we have with our own personal opinions, which is very important in this time and age. You know, you can't be dependent on each thought on somebody else. So so yeah, it was a very nice thing with my family because he they both really supported me like for, throughout the whole thing. You know, it never happened with me. I've heard about it, yes, but it never happened with me because everyone was uncle, auntie, you know, like the directors, the producers are all like people who I've had dinners at home with, I've played with their children when we were younger, uh, go out for their birthday parties. So I don't think that would be a problem as such, at least when it came to me. So what happened is we were sitting and chit-chatting and my dad has a habit of just like throwing ideas at me for like scripts and all of our life we've done that or scenes. So, and he makes us do diction pieces. He just like always made us rehearse like that. And one day he sat with me and he started narrating a story. He's like, oh, I've just thought of a story. Let's talk about it. I said, okay. And it was my sister's birthday. So uh, we're chit-chatting and everything. And uh, when he started telling me the story, I was like, I'm, you know, it started like becoming intriguing. I was like, yeah, this girl sounds a lot like me, you know, like I feel like I can do something like this. So then I started really throwing ideas at him and um, he got a little excited as well, seeing my excitement. He's like, okay, cool, chalo, let's see, whatever. And then he started telling me, okay, do this piece, shoot yourself, you know, do these scenes and let me know what is happening because um, I had not done an acting course in a really long time. So he's like, you know, Riaz is very important. So he's like, do this scene, do this, do that. And then it was my birthday uh, after a month and uh, he comes with the director and he, they give me a, an, an envelope and say this is your uh, contract, your signing amount and we'd like to make a film with you. So it was a surprise birthday gift. My sister knew my and she really kept it to herself. Yes, I did. And because more so because um, he had just shot two states with Alia and Alia is a very close uh, family friend of ours. So of course I knew about him. And then obviously when I got to know him, I started doing a lot of research and all the work he's done. And it's just the names of the film and that's it. Like you don't even have to like explain beyond like who's Binod Pradhan, he shot Devdas. Who's Binod Pradhan, he's shot 
Munna Bhai, you know. So like these films are so beautiful and you remember scenes from them that you don't have to explain anything further about him. Yes, that was there throughout. He was uh, the producer on duty. So he was doing all the running around and getting things organized. He was, um, yeah, more or less he was there all the time. Mom and my sister didn't come very often. She came like a starry mom. She would love to come and just like sit around in the vanity and get her blow dry done. She was really excited more than anything. But with dad, it was more work. With mom around, it would become a fun thing. She would come, joke around, chit chat with everybody. So we'd make sure she and my sister don't come too often. So it's a very simple, sweet love story of two friends who are getting uh, married at the same time at a destination wedding and how at the destination things go a little haywire for both of them in their respective relationship. And the character I'm playing is called Anushka as well in the film. She's an exaggerated version of me, I believe. The girl is louder, more um, flamboyant, more uh, tomboyish, more emotional, like everything what I would be plus plus. And it's a, uh, it's a very relatable character to girls nowadays. Because all of us girls nowadays, you know, this generation, we're really independent girls. We like to make our own decisions. But at the same time, you have family values where you're like, you respect your elders at home. And... Um, and that's the case over here though she lives abroad she's from london like she's been studying there she's very very close to her grandmother and her bg so i have a character of my dadi and my bg so she's very attached to them so just you know like a like how a girl is nowadays you know so it's a very relatable character you do you, you joke around with your grandparents nowadays it's not the times where you touch your their feet constantly and you know you're scared around them you're a very nice equation even with my grandmom per se we chit chat on the phone, we joke around, I prank call her, taking different names from different numbers. So it's a very nice relationship. So it's something I could really, really relate to. So I was really happy playing this character because as a first film, I was in such a happy zone that I knew I could give my best to what I was playing. You see, we've been like getting uh, calls and everything, obviously, you know, once the trailer starts rolling. But... It's a very dicey situation for me right now because I need to focus only, only on this project. So I'm hoping that, you know, I can just like give it a little time, think about other stuff. And as soon as this releases, then the ball should start rolling. In today's time, I honestly look up to Karina and Deepika because I've seen Deepika's journey, obviously all of us have. And it just showed how much she grew over the period of time. She didn't get lazy because she became Deepika Padukone. She became better with the film she was doing. And whoever was complaining about however she acted or looked or whatever, she has outdone herself to a whole different... That today nobody can say anything about her. May it be her acting, may it be her appearance, may it be the way she speaks. So I, at this point, I really look up to her and I would love to take the same similar path as her. <laughs> Alia is very difficult. I even, you know, sometimes I find it so strange that it, I don't comprehend the fact that she's Alia Bhatt, you know, because it's like she's a very close friend of my younger sister, actually. So she's like my sister, you know what I mean? I can just pick up the phone and call her, and sometimes I feel so weird. But she's an exceptional actor. I remember after watching Highway, I called her up and I said, Alia, this doesn't look like your second movie, it looks like your 10th movie. Like, you have grown. And you know, I've seen them act like my sister and she would love playing actor-actor at home. So they'd pick up, she, she used to imitate Mah Mah Mahesh Ankur, then Shatru Ankur she used, she used to imitate. Right. And then she would like pick up scenes and actresses and everything. Kareena Kapoor, she would love to imitate and everything. So I've seen her doing this always. So I knew she had it in her and she would be good at it. I'm honestly, I have no idea. I guess I'll cross that bridge when I reach it because it's just not even sinking in where I am right now, what position I'm holding, you know. Like just last night, we went out with my co-stars. We had gone to an event and people were actually coming up to us and they knew who at least I was. And I was like, this is so new. I'm not used to random people coming up to me, wanting to click pictures with me. So I guess uh, one step at a time. <laughs> I don't think so because I'm 
I mean, I don't know, it's a little personal right now. You know, that's what I'm saying because I've not been in this situation. I don't know how to deal with it. I guess I'll have to ask people, maybe my family, my people like in the industry, maybe other co-stars or other actors and actresses, how to go about it, whether whether not. But I don't think it's very important for me to do it. Kissing see, is something very natural now. It's not... It's nothing, like every film has it. May it be something more on the artsy line, maybe something super commercial. Everywhere there's kissing. So I think I have to make my peace with that. So I don't have a choice. That I'm fine. Because um, I've actually worn a swimsuit in this film as well. If I have the body, I'll flaunt it. Why not? Because I do wear swimsuits when I go out uh, with my friends and everything. And nowadays, I don't think it's a big deal because people don't look upon it like, oh my God, you know, she's wearing a bikini or a stomach is showing. Half our lehengas are only so revealing or saris are so revealing. I feel bikinis are more aesthetic in some sorts, in some situations. Mm -hmm. So, and Alia is looking fabulous. Uh, someone like a Deepika has a very good body so it doesn't look ugly when you're in shape and it looks it looks nice like it looks nothing you won't like feel something off about it we have a lot of common friends like in between us it's fine by me I guess um, she's there'll be Sharma and Ranjan that's all you'll have to call us then she has her own place in this uh, industry now she's much senior than me much more senior than me so I don't think that should be a problem as such oh I am dying for that like honestly I want to see what can people say because I've always loved to hear what people have to say about me it's just very intriguing to me I don't know I guess I just laugh it off I'm going waiting to see what gossip people talk about me and you know what they have to say about me it'll be fun like it's something new and you go with, you go with the like, through it in normal life as well you know you in your school or college or friend circle, someone says something about you. This is just on a larger scale, but somewhere you've been through that experience. So I guess it's fine, like not a big deal for me. I'm hot, you're not, I'm a superstar, I'm a superstar,